Hello everybody, Jeff here. Now uh, just a little update on what I've been up to lately. Been doing some rewiring here in the garage. Um, putting, putting in a few new outlets. And uh, eventually gonna run back. I think I'm gonna put another box in there. You can't have too, never have too many outlets. Run back to this one here. And eventually I'm going to run, I don't know if I'm going to get that done this weekend or not, but I'm going to bury a conduit out to the shed back there and run a line back out through there. But in the meantime, eventually I'm going to put a sub panel out here and completely rewire the garage. But for now, what I had to do, this is the power coming in to everything. Um, it was running up here into this junction box and everything was junctioned off and here this outlet for the garage door opener and uh, this other one and the other one back there which right now isn't hooked up so what I had to do is pull that old braided cord out of there wire out of there and move it so, so it's coming into this outlet uh, eventually this is all going this all this crap's going away. There's no ground there was no ground at all in any of the wiring in here. And uh but I have a ground rigged up. So there is ground on here. You got this wire that somebody had put in coming through the wall here. And it's red, it's supposed to be green or bare, but it's red. And there's a ground makeshift ground rod up there, and they had it just uh, running up up here to this outlet. And it wasn't even hooked to the outlet. They just had it stripped and wrapped around this nail, and they bent the nail over it. That holds that's attached. You well, know, it kind of runs under the box, and it's a really Mickey Mouse way of doing it, but it worked. And so, so I just took that, hooked it in. To everything here hooked into the ground and all this new wiring and everything's grounded now as you can see even though there's no ground wire in this cable um, this is my panty dating tester you can see there's a ground on there now both ambers say correct for ground so and right now there's since I had to, haven't wired that outlet up yet with the new wiring, there's no ground on that outlet yet. But we're gonna change that today. I had to go get some more wire, otherwise I would've done it last night, I ran out of wire. So, next thing I need to do, this is as far as I got last night, drilling the holes. Now we got up to this one here in my handy dandy trusty black and decker drill that i've had for about 25 years burned up on me it won't work at all now and it's plugged in so went to home depot bought this new ryobi it's the cheapest one they had which is all i wanted was the cheapest one they had so we'll crack that open and uh make sure this works I put a lot of glue on this box. Came in this handy dandy little bag. And here it is. So let's see if it works.
have drillers. All right, let's get started. Okay, I got my all my holes drilled pretty much where I want them for now. Um, just went up to there. I'll have more to drill off this way because eventually I'm going to put outlets all the way around the garage. But uh, I think the way I want to do it, if I put get a get a sub panel put in here, is separate like put this wall and the ceiling on one circuit, and put this wall and that wall on another circuit. So, but for now. We'll probably hook that outlet back up too. So, um, just kind of planning as I go here. So, I'm gonna start running wire. I'm not gonna film all that, but uh, I'll be back. Okay, here it is many hours later. It's taken me way longer to do this project than it should have. It seems like I could run, run into snag after snag after snag. But everything's wired in. My wires all ran. The outlets are in. My half-assed ground system is working. Right down to there. You know I need to do some work on that. It's kind of iffy, but it works. Um, ran into a snag right here. Where I got three wires coming into this box, but there's no room for all the wires, the wire nuts, and the outlet to fit in this small box. This is the one that was already here. It's one of those ones that with the angles back, so I'm going to have to put a bigger box in there. And uh, I'm going to run another outlet up on this beam probably. To be used for like drop cords and stuff. I pulled the other wire out that was running to this outlet here. That outlet's still not hooked up. I still got part of that wire on there. That wire there is not hooked up. That's the one that used to go out to the barn. It's 12-2 wire so I might utilize it for something if I can get it out of there. It's a lot of staples in there so I can get it out of there without damaging it. But uh, that remains to be seen so still got a lot more to go on this project stay tuned but right now I'm gonna wrap it up it's starting to get dark out today's the 4th of July and uh, I'm gonna get cleaned up and head down to the park so have a good night happy 4th of July and we'll talk to you later bye and one more thing I forgot to add Ran out of brown outlets, so I had to go with ivory for these last three. But it's only the garage. The color don't matter. Um, this is just stuff I had laying around for the most part. So it'll work on them. I probably won't bother to change them back. And uh, I'm running 12-2 wire, 12 gauge wire. Um, these are on a 15 amp circuit right now. That's the way it's configured. But I'm hoping eventually to put a sub panel in here. So I've I got the uh, so I can run a 20 amp circuit. Then I can have 220 in the whole nine yards. 
but that's going to be a lot of work. But I'm hopefully, hopefully I can get it done this summer because we're going to have to bury a uh, conduit into the house. So uh, stay tuned. We might have that video coming up sometime. This is the current system we got here. And this is scary enough looking at this. You got that rusty box up there with four frayed wires coming out of it to these overhead wires. And they're all the same color, so I don't know what's what. But two of them are the power, two of them's going to a three-way switch. These are, there's a three-way switch for the garage lights, so you can control them either in by the back door in the house or in the garage which I don't understand why they set that up that way. And then they set it up so that the uh, outside light there is on the same. Come on with the garage lights, inside lights. So I don't like that either. So, and top it off, these are all hooked to the 15 amp kitchen light circuit. So uh, that's how they did it, but I'm hoping to get it done right soon which is going to involve a trip under the crawl space not looking forward to it. I don't even I haven't figured out how to get into there yet <clears throat> remember the back part of this house is front parts basement and the back parts crawl space so oh well I'm gonna get cleaned up and get ready to get out of here so you have a good day and we'll talk to you later bye